So when it comes to strengthening your hands for hand passing or for blocking, finger planks are a really good way to strengthen it, but it depends on how we do it, all right? So we don't want to do the finger planks where we're like this, or even the finger push-ups. We don't want to be doing it like this. We're strengthening in this position. When we're hand passing or when we're blocking, we're in this position. If we're like this, we're going to be jamming our thumbs, and we're not going to be getting good hand passes or blocks like that as well. So we want to be in that open hand position. So what I like to think about is I'm like Spider-Man, all right? So I'm here in this position and I'm like Spider-Man. I have a low gap between the, my palm and the floor and I'm in that open hand position. And then I'm strengthening here in this position, all right? And in the Built for Volleyball program, we have progressions, right? So we can start here and then just put our weight on this one hand, knees on the floor, adding some weight onto that hand and then we can switch and then add some weight onto this hand, again, in that open hand position. And then we can go into both hands holding this position. Now from here, when we get stronger in this position, I want you to really take your time going through these progressions, right? So you can build strength in this position. This is a really tough position to be in. So if we jump too far, then it's gonna be too much on our hands. It could potentially get hurt. Just like in strength training, you don't wanna go all the way to the advanced progression. You wanna start at the first level, get really good at that, build strength, and then move on to the next level. The next level here would be, we wanna raise our knees, all right? So now we're adding more of our weight onto our hands, again, in this open hand position. We're just gonna build some strength in that position. We can also get into the downward dog position. So not only are we getting strength in the hands, but we're also getting some good upward rotation of the shoulders as well. Then eventually when you're ready, we can get into a full finger plank, still in that open hand position, but we're in that full finger plank position and we're really building some strength in that. We have a lot of our weight on that position. Now again, make sure you don't jump into that progression. All right, make sure you start off with the first one and then build your way up. And then even if the first one is harder for you, all right, you can start off leaning back a little bit, right? And then just putting your hands in this position. You can try to grab the floor to get that contraction there in the hands. But then from here, then you can just start to add more of your weight over top of the hands. And then you can feel as you shift forward, right? You're adding more weight onto your hands and that increases the strain that you need to then handle. So this is a really good way to build some strength in the hands and the fingers, but it depends on how you do it, right? So we don't wanna be in this position. For this one, we wanna be open hand position. And what we're doing is we're training the strength, right? The isometric strength in this position so that we can stop the ball and then propel it forward. If we're hand passing, it could potentially reduce the risk of injury as well for when we're blocking. But keep in mind, this is just for strength. We are strengthening in that open hand position as well. So it does train a little bit of the pattern as well. If you're someone who always hand passes like this, you're getting more comfortable being in this position. But if technique is the issue, right, then we wanna make sure that we're getting the reps with the technique, training our hand passing, or making sure we're training our blocking technique as well. All right, let's get to work.